Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis. This is episode number 48 of our journey to create a big base separated with trains, with specialized areas where we make certain things in certain spaces, and we connect everything up, and we route everything around with trains. I think we've been successful. Up to this point, we have, let's count them. These are in rows of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, seventeen 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 rows of five. That's uh, 85 trains. The base has become extremely large. We've learned a lot about the game during our journey, during our 260 some hours of playtime on this map. And uh, I think after this episode, it will be time to move on. As I said previously in a previous episode, the .15 patch has just come out. Changes so much that this map is going to break in massive ways. And uh, I think I want to also start playing around with mods. But before we do that, we have a few things to do. A few more things to have fun with. Uh, first of all, there is this little achievement here. Deliver yourself uh, 10,000 items with logistics robots. Now you guys have uh, let me know, of course, that... Something I already knew, but whatever. Uh, you let me know that... Achievements are able to be gotten, gotten, achieved. You can achieve achievements within the game. Let's turn this train off. You can achieve them within the game when you're using mods, but you don't get the steam ones. So I think it's easier just for uh, completionist's sake to get uh, get them now. So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to request some coal on our person just to get this very simple achievement. Okay, and we want, uh, let's just say, bring me 600 of those. Okay. And I'm just gonna dump those right back in there. Oh, I was supposed to, oops, oh man, I screwed up and I cannot re-record this one-time thing. Okay, I meant to uh, do that. Oh, okay, and now we're auto-saving. Oh, I swear this is on a 10 minute timer and it always starts right at the beginning of my stupid map. Or my stupid recording session. Okay, they should come right to the closest one possible, right? So we should just be able to keep feeding this in. We're at 1.5. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do it this way. Uh, and then we're going to kill ourselves and get a final tally of all the aliens we killed. All the other things that were destroyed along our journey. Should be a, a fairly large number. Yes, bring them to me. There we go. I turned the train off, by the way, so if I accidentally empty out the cargo, it doesn't take off to go get more, because we should have plenty here for us. See how easy this one is? Um, we are already up to uh, 3.6, 4,000-ish. We could even up this to, like, 1,000 and keep doing this kind of thing. And the robots will keep flying back and forth. So uh, what we're going to do next is, uh, after we finish this little achievement... We're gonna launch a few rockets. I wanna do this first because we have to kill ourselves to get our stats, and that's going to kinda screw up any kind of rockets we launch. We'll have to relaunch them. We're up to 5.7K. Uh, one of the things, or at least some of the things we've done recently have extremely lagged up the world we're living in. You'll notice I, uh, I turned on the frames per second, updates per second counter here. We're down to like 24 per second. I th I think that might be possibly related to all of the, uh, the, the hundreds and thousands of belts that we added last episode when we added our, our new mining expeditions outposts way over here. A lot of belts were added. Up until this point, we've been using mostly trains, obviously, and really haven't had that much in terms of the scale of our base, right? We've been fairly minimal on belts, and maybe that has helped us stay lag-free, and maybe this has... Uh, been a bad idea for our lag-free environment. We've never been lag-free, but we've been lagged minimal. Okay, dump those in there. We're only a thousand away. Okay, this should be done in a minute. Um, that's one part of it, but another part of it, and I think probably the larger part of it, is all the aliens that the game... There we go! Achievement get! Delivery service! Supply the player with 10,000 items from uh, Logistics Robots. So the game is keeping track of just a, a silly amount of aliens. All of them have to have little pathing algorithms and all that kind of stuff. They're all entities that get stored in the map. And if you look, all these areas we explored to go look for future ore patch expansions, the, all these tiny little dots, those are aliens that the map is keeping track of. 
And it's supposed to put them on standby or like passive mode. They're supposed to be dormant when you're not near them. But uh, what happened is I was running around the border and trying to clear out the aliens on the edge. And any time I even attacked an alien or an alien had to move at all, my frames per second dropped to about 13. It got cut in half. So I think the aliens are a big problem. Let's, uh, how do I get rid of that? Oh, I just right click on it. Okay, and then we can dump these back in here. And okay, there's all the coal. We can put the inserters back. And then turn the train back on. There we go. Okay, achievement get. We can unpin that. All right, now, let's see. Um, we have the achievement. The achievement will not get, be, it will not be erased when we kill ourselves. What's the best way to kill ourselves? And fire? Oh, God. What a way to go. <laughs> All right. Your playtime. Time play, 261 hours. Big spitters killed 162,000. 118,000 big biters, etc. Lots of large numbers there. 43,000 of this particular tree, 43,000 of that particular tree. I guess those are different uh, graphic tile sets. Medium biters, small biters, etc. Uh, more trees, more biters, more stuff. Th 73 fish, 168 steel chests, some rocks, some trees, some solar panels I ran into probably with the car, beacons, etc., etc., uh, two tanks we destroyed, one stack inserter, uh, and one player. I guess that was me just now. Chemical plant, fast insert, accumulator. Okay, anyway, so those are the numbers for the series. Most, most, uh, most things killed was the big spitter at 162,000. Let's reload the game. That should go to the autosave where we just were. Good enough. Okay, so uh, we, we did that. Now we can launch a few rockets. I want to get our rockets launched. Oh, I have to uh, redo this, I guess. I should have known. Oops, no, no, give me that. Oh, crap. No, that's not a big deal. We can get those back. Okay, turn the train back on. There we go. So, um, yeah, we, we achieved a lot of the things I wanted to do with this map. Some of the things we didn't. I wanted to launch just, like, silly amounts of rockets, like thousands and thousands of rockets. I realize now... How many how much resources it takes and how much uh logistical organization it takes to launch rockets and uh it would take us a long long time to do that i think it's better to just uh, start a new base and try some new things let's see what are we doing now oh yeah we're gonna launch four rockets to get our rockets sent to an even 140. it's gonna be loud for me and kind of loud for you there we go there's four and then when they fill up again, we will do 10 more. And maybe 150 will be enough for the series. Jolly good. Oh, oh, and then, and then, uh, and then we have to try something after these get launched. We are going to try to fix our lag problem. I nearly forgot. We are going to use a console command to murder. And this is why we looked at the stats before. <laughs> this is why we already looked at the stats. We're gonna use a, bye bye rockets. We're gonna use a console command to murder every alien on the map to see if that helps. And it might just crash the game because that looks like a lot of aliens. These things are closing back up. Let's wait for the robots to uh, swarm a -roo. I want the, to have a, a bit less activity going on. And we might have enough stockpiled to almost go right to the next 10. After we see if our uh, alien, kind of like, uh, we're going to use a particle beam weapon from the, the orbit of this planet. I almost said Earth. This is not Earth. At least I don't think it is. Could be some alternate future where aliens take over. This could be like um, Stranger Things Season 5. <laughs> You've seen Stranger Things. There's this alternate world and it's got these weird goopy aliens with like weird plant life stuff that's goopy and all over the place. Yeah, this could be Earth. You never know. Okay, here comes our hordes of robots. Um, so, yeah, our frames per second is not dipping at all from these robots. There's a pretty fair number of them, but as far as Factorio bases go, this is a very tame number of robots. But most bases that have a lot of robots tend to be more compact. So I guess that's the trade-off. I also have noticed that people making mega bases use a lot of underground belts... 
because it shows less entities when they're um, underground for the majority of the time. We may or may not need to adopt that in a future base, but I think uh, I don't plan to worry on about that just yet. All right, how are we doing? We're up to 66%. We're low on the uh, low density structures, which are made from steel. Our steel production has gone up, but uh, not that far up. I guess we can look at our all time production stats while we wait. 70. 8 million copper cables is our most produced thing. 45 million and 43 million iron and copper, etc., etc. You can read them. 23 million. Pause the screen, etc. if you're curious. Produced a lot of stuff, I guess. 7.9 million plastic bars. Okay, I think that's good enough. Um, so let's go ahead and save the game. Let's have a different save from... My other save in case we need to revert more than once or something. I don't know. Okay, then let me copy paste this console command. Oops, uh, how do I do it? Tilde? Okay. Now, the reason I've never used this before is because once you use a console command in your map, it disables achievements, but we don't care about that anymore. Okay. Oh, lag or no? Our frames per second jumped by 10 frames. I am seeing aliens, though. Did it work? I see bases. Uh, this should not kill... I don't think this will kill the spawners themselves. And we don't have any radars out in this area, so we can't really tell. And uh, this might be enemies spawning immediately. It does look a little bit better. Tell you what, let's take it one step farther. And let's kill all the bases as well, because the bases will immediately start spawning new enemies right after we kill all of them, which is kind of defeating the purpose. Let's see if this works. I copy-pasted this from uh, the Factorio Wiki. Okay. Okay, now I've had... Uh-oh. Lag. Uh-oh. Can't... I can't even move. There we go. It caught up. Oh! We jumped to 60 frames per second! Oh, and the map is moving faster! Yes, and so this all this all looks the same because we are not updating this with radars, but you can see the uh, like the long range spots that the radar occasionally checks shows nothing, and we jumped right up to sixty frames per second. Yes, it was indeed the aliens. Recently on a live stream, I did all of this exploration, running through all these alien infested areas and leaving mo basically all of them alive. And yeah, I think that was the majority of the cause of the lag. Not all of the belts over here in our mining expansions. Oh my gosh, I'm moving so much faster. The robots are moving faster. Look how jubilant they look. They're full of energy. They're full of spit and vinegar. Okay, it's great. Okay, that's fantastic. All right, next. Okay, let's just briefly run out here and confirm. Yes, it is true, all of the aliens are dead. We hit them with our laser beam from outer space. That's what all these rockets have been going towards, a laser beam from outer space, AKA the console command. All right, so uh, what I'd like to do now is just drive from one side of the map to the other and do a little bit of a chitty chat about what we'd like to do next in the, the world of Factorio, because we're not finished. With Factorio, we're only finished with this map. And we might even revisit this map like in the distant future, but no promises and probably not, and probably not for a super long time if we ever do. Okay, so uh, right now we're on the far western side of the map, and we are going to drive from here, and I hope you can see my mouse cursor. I didn't realize this until like yesterday, but I updated DX Story, my recording software recently, and when it updated, it unchecked the record the mouse cursor place thing. So, sorry about that. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna drive basically um, up here and down through here, and then all the way down to our southeastern corner at the oil expansion and just kind of clock how long it takes. I'm not gonna go as fast as humanly possible, but we won't dilly-dally too much. I'm gonna pull up a stopwatch on my phone uh, so I don't have to consult the editing to see how long it takes. And it's not necessarily to point out every single little thing about the map. Let's go ahead and get started. It's not gonna be a explicit world tour where I stop and tell you what everything does. 
It's kind of uh, self-explanatory, like right there we're making pipes and boilers and steam engines and stuff. Uh, right here we're mining some coal. It's just to uh, give you an idea of the scale of the, the map we've created in one unbroken shot. And oh my god, I've forgotten how fast these cars are. It's been a slow thing, but the game has slowly, slowly, ever so slowly slowed down. We're right now getting 60 frames per second. We were at about a third of that before I killed all the aliens. And so we've been operating at like a, a third to a half of normal game speed. And I didn't realize it until we broke off the shackles. Have you ever seen Baron Munchausen? The Adventures of Baron Munchausen in the movie? We are Berthold and we just took off our ball and chain. And now we are going to uh, run super duper fast. Okay, here's our first red circuit cell. And we're right next to, let's go ahead. Oh, God. I sometimes it's easier to run into the wall than to get killed by a train. Right over here to the right is where we started. This is the stem cell where it all began. Long ago. Oh, sorry about that pipe. Not much left here, but this is where we started. And by the way, uh, the updates, uh, 0.15 allows you to keep track of blueprints in uh, like a blueprint manager. So eventually what I'll do is I will come back to this world and update it and I will save all my blueprints from this world and try to make it easy to uh, share with you guys. I, I've had a number of people request that I make that possible. Here's where the oil barrels get unloaded. The 0.15 patch finally added the, the fluid handling cargo wagons, which is super awesome. Very excited about that. Have to go very slow now. Oh my God, those trains are going so fast. All right, now we're headed south. Okay, we're running past, I think, solar panels, bad, uh, there's not batteries, uh, laser turrets are made right there, solar panels and accumulators off to the left. It is so fast. I can't get over how fast this game is now. It's ridiculous. I thought this was gonna take about twice as long as it's gonna take. It should still be a, a decent amount of time though. Here's a little uh, impromptu, probably like a, a stone bricks, little harvesting area there. And we just passed the low density structures and uh, rocket control unit area. Here's our gigantic solar panel farm. We currently have, let's uh, click on a power line. We've got 59,000 solar panels powering 1600 beacons, 1000 electric furnaces, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There we go. Gotta make our way around this guy. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing in Factorio it's now time to start playing with mods, but since the 0.15 patch just came out and it changes so much, it updates so much, I don't want to start a full-blown mod pack and kind of miss all the, the cool stuff that's been added. I, I still want to have a mostly vanilla experience. What we're going to do is we're going to start a kind of like a medium length uh, Factorio series to explore the 0.15 changes and to play around with some mostly cosmetic and quality of life mods. We're gonna use one medium-sized mod that kind of adds new functionality, but it's not going to get in the way of all the cool stuff that just got added, like the uranium and the nuclear power, uh, the, uh, the liquid cargo wagons, the fluid handling, the pumps, the steam, all, all that stuff. Uh, should still, we'll still be able to explore it. This is uh, one of our oil expansions here. We are actually not far from the southeast corner of the map. We're getting here much faster than I anticipated, obviously, because the game is now operating at the speed it's supposed to operate at. It's incredible. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have like a medium length Factorio series, which should launch pretty soon. I would say like within the week of this coming out, it should be coming out. I'll have to do some experimentation to get it work right, but it shouldn't be that tricky. Okay, here we are. Here we are at the southeastern border. This is our, by far, the largest oil expansion. And here is our southeastern wall. It took me four and a half minutes to get here, to drive in one mostly unbroken line, to drive from here. We drove all the way up through here, down there. And that used to take 10 minutes <laughs> because we were operating at half speed. Hey, but now it's no big deal. The map doesn't seem quite so big, although it is pretty big. So after we finish that, uh, what I'm just going to tentatively call a medium length, like 20 episodes or so, Pactorio series with a few quality of life mods, well, we're, we're gonna explore 0.15, that kind of thing. After that, I wanted to launch into a let's go nuts, 
with a full-on, like, Bob's and Angel's mod pack. Probably that mod pack. There are some other mod packs, but I think we'll want to, probably want to do that one. And, like, go nuts with logistics robots. Basically go to an extreme that I haven't gone to previously. We've gone the train solar panel road extreme. Uh, and so I think it's time to explore some new things. We want to do stuff that's cool. But uh, we want to go in a different direction, I think. Oh, another thing is that these alien goops that are all over the ground everywhere, those don't exist in 0.15. So my massive collection of over 100,000 alien goops is just going to evaporate into uh, the ether once I eventually update this map, because I'll have to update it to get access to the blueprint organizer to uh, basically add all my blueprints to my blueprint file that's... Uh, not just for this map, but tied to my character, to my account. I guess we'll head all the way back. Once we came, um, down up to the depot. Never got 100% finished, but uh, that's okay. We did enough. We did enough. It's time to move on. We'll launch 10 more rockets, and I think 150 rockets, that's good enough. Would like to launch more, but man, it takes so many resources. If I did ever continue with this map, uh, I don't... I think we would continue to just murder aliens with console commands. I don't think I'll be playing in a, uh, like a max alien settings death world again. Because I've, I've kind of been there and done that. My last two Factorio saves were alien death worlds with max alien settings. And uh, as we've just seen, it massively impacts performance. And uh, my future bases, I want to go crazier and crazier. So we'll need all the performance we can get. Here we are back again. It's amazing how fast you can get through this base when the game is running at the proper speed. Let's see, can we launch 10 rockets yet? Here we are, back at, yes, we can. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, let's park our car in our custom-made garage. We took our hauling car. I knew that, oops. Oh, it's gonna be harder to avoid stuff with the cars moving faster. I know that because that was the, uh, the H one was empty. 10 more rockets. And then we'll see you in a few days for our... Oh! Crap! Okay, nine more. <laughs> nine more rockets. 159. Damn, I should have paid closer attention. I was too excited. Oh, they launched so quickly! Oh my gosh, it happened so fast! Look how fast they go! Huh. Okay. All right, well, that, um, I wanted to do 10. 149 is a little bit anticlimactic. This guy's at 50. Hey, guys, why don't you bring that stuff over here? Do we have any uh, low-density structures we can... Probably not. Yeah, it looks like we, we don't have any low-density structures. They are flying around all the other stuff. No, there is some. Oh, here we go. Should be just a second here. There we go. It's got to open the... The blast doors there. Look how fast the robots are going. Oh my gosh. That's a whole new experience. They're zipping around. Okay, here we go. Rocket number 150 for Factorio Meiosis. It kind of feels like I'm uh, giving my own child up for adoption or something, ending the series and not coming back to this map. Oh god, it's so loud. Alright, but yes, uh, this map has meant a lot to me. This is actually, this is my, technically my third Factorio base. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, um, I don't know how many more times or different ways to say it. This is the end. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you're exciting for excited for our future explorations in the world of Factorio. We'll see you next time for the beginning of our new series in not too long. Have a good day, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.